Hello, hello, welcome. Whilst I panic, um, as you can see, it's I'm sick. I'm I am having a cold right now. That's why I'm with a scarf <laughs> on the inside. Um, I don't feel like putting makeup up. Uh, you better gonna stay in this very cozy hoodie because. It makes me feel better and it's warm. However, I just realized Hocus Pocus 2 is coming out tomorrow. For some reason, I thought it would come out next week. No clue why. Um, I'm still halfway September in my mind, which it isn't. Um, and I, you know, I wanted to see the movie, I wanted to read the books, but I haven't started the book yet. I haven't. And I need to read the first deal first. Um, I'm weird. So I like to watch the movie first and then read the book because the book is most of the time more in depth. Um, I can however read the first book because I have seen that movie many, many times. Um, but I haven't started yet. That is how far I need to go. This is what I need to read. And this all is the second movie, so... Um... So I better get on it today? I think... The, the plan now is, hopefully... Read the first book today. Which should be doable because it's only 179 pages. Watch the first movie tonight, because I really want to. <laughs> um, prep some snacks of some sort for today or tomorrow, or we'll see. Um, I did make a fun plan for the, the, the evening cooking stuff <laughs> dinner dinner was the word i was looking for um i want to make a pie with the eye of the book in it so either gonna do that today or tonight or tomorrow we'll see we'll find out together um and after i've seen the film tomorrow i can then read the second book and that's the plan. This is going to be an all Hocus Pocus themed video. And I'm really excited. I know. I know. I've heard the book isn't good. I know. But I want to read it anyway. I want to experience it for myself. Um, and hope it doesn't disappoint me as much as it did for most people. Because I'm aware now, you know. Uh, but I still want, really want to try it out. So that's the plan. Follow me as everything goes different anyway. Um, but we're gonna have a good time together and that's the most important thing.
nine o'clock at the evening and I need to update you. <laughs> As you can see, I made donuts for tomorrow already. Um, and it was quite late when I finished the first book of Hocus Pocus. It took me way longer than I expected. Which is, I don't know why. I, the, the book is definitely slower than the movie, but I didn't feel like it was that slow. And it has big print. And pretty pictures as a chapter heading. So I had no clue why it took me so long to read not even 200 pages. But it did. No, I don't know why. Maybe because of my concentration. I felt like I had good concentration, but maybe I didn't. I don't know. Um, I then start watching the movie because I was only finished till nine with the book. So I watched an hour. I still have a half an hour to go, but I'm not going to do that today because I am sick for the past three days. Three. It takes three. Um, and I need to work tomorrow. Sleep isn't going great when you don't have any every year long. So I'm going to sleep now on time so I can do the work day tomorrow. And then when I get back home, we're going to eat. <coughs> <coughs> I prepped a Sanderson inspired dinner. Um... And we're going to eat the donuts while watching the second movie. And whilst I'll eat my dinner, I'm going to uh, see the last half hour of Hocus Pocus 1. Um, and actually, I quite like the book. I don't know why everybody was so negative. Yes, it is the story of the movie, but we knew that, right? Maybe they were negative about the second one. That makes me sad, though. I don't know. I hope that that wasn't it. Um, that's the second. The second book is way bigger. Um, I liked the first book. It follows the story from the movie very closely, but we do get a bit more insight in Max's thoughts, and it's just a little broader, a little more in depth, and I really, really like that. That's why I want to read the books after the movie. And it delivered for me. So I'm happy. And I'm really hoping now. The second book is as good. <laughs> the second movie is as good. Um, because now I'm scared. Thinking they might be. Negative about the second part. I don't know. I like the first though. And I like the drawings in it. and It was really good. I had a fun day today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Sleep tight. Of today. It's a shepherd's pie. But with an eye, I like the book. And the scars like the book. Didn't turn out as great as I hoped, but you know. I tried.
we just finished the film. Um, it was really, really fun. <laughs> I had such a blast. Uh, I left all the notes and um, the little thingies to them. You know, the old movie. Um, the fact that the old movie was playing on the TV and... You know, the Madonna costume was really, really fun. I really liked it. I like that they kept the same vibe as the old one. It it was just really good. <laughs> had such a blast. Um, the after the, the little video after the titles. Excuse me. What does that mean? Do we know? Do we get? If you know, or if you did, please, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Let me know down below on what you think that means. <laughs> I'm not sure. I hope so. Would be cool, though. We'll see. At least now I can read the second book, though. So, I read a bad... I, that's why I read very late out of bar um and i've i have started the second book in the hocus pocus the all new sequel um and i really really like it but so far nothing from the movie has happened but i think it's better than the movie because um You know, in the first book, predominantly, we see that the new owner isn't, the last owner wasn't really Winifred, but it was actually Elizabeth Sanderson. And we got nothing on that, which I was really curious about. But in the second book, we follow Polly, who is the child of the guy's name, <laughs> Danny's brother, um, which got married with the girl from the first movie. Um, and obviously they don't talk about Halloween or S the Sanderson's because, you know, they say they Danny was almost taken. So it is, she's talking about Auntie Danny that's almost token, uh, uh, taken. And uh, Polly doesn't know what to think of it. And if it's true or not. Um, and her friend is asking about Elizabeth Sanderson. And I'm really curious about that one as well. So I hope we get into that in this book. Um, so far I like that we see characters from the first book. Which wasn't in the movie. Some things are weird because the the bully, the Jake Fly thing, he's now the principal, which is weird to me because he was very dumb. And I don't think. I think you have to be a bit smart at least. You can bully your way around, but you have, at least have to be a bit smart to get to become principal. But somehow he is, and he has a daughter as well, which is also bully. And you know, Polly is encountering that girl because that girl's in her class too. And I like that. I think that's really fun. So I'm curious to see how much we get of that because I love that part, and how that translates into the movie. I guess. Um, because I do think those are connected, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. We'll find out together. Oh. <laughs> I did it. I finished Hocus Pocus and the all new sequel. I think that's... We have stuff to talk about. First of all, the second book is not as the movie. It's totally different. It never gets to the point of the movie. It's just two different things. And I didn't know. I'm glad I didn't know. And I'm also really glad... I've read this book after seeing the movie. 
Because if I've read this book first, I would have been very disappointed in the book. Um, you know, I really, really love the second Hocus Pocus movie. I do. And I'm gonna rewatch it every year. But to be fair, it is an ode to Hocus Pocus 1. It doesn't really have a strong own story. It was just really fun and funny and good because all the nods to Hocus Pocus 1 and seeing the Sanderson sisters back. Um, But this book, this book had a good story, a way better story. Um, in this we actually follow all the cast from the last movie. Um, we see Danny again. We, see, you know, we see Max again. It's we see their kids, and that's whom we follow. And this story is so strong and great. I kind of wish now this was the movie. This should have been the movie. And I'm also, and I'm really disappointed because the second book ends on a cliffhanger. Do I ever get, you know, the sequel now? Will it come out in book form? Or, you know, I don't think they can do it in a movie because then they have to make this as a movie and a new one. But they didn't want to make another movie with this cost, I believe, because to be fair, um, Winifred is old. She's 76. You know, she should... She should be able to retire if she wants to. Um, so I don't... I, I, I've i heard they are going to do another video, but we're going to follow the new younger ones. So I guess from the movie. But what happens to this story then? Because this is way better. This is really, really good. But... I, no, I don't know why they... Why did they make that choice? Why didn't they make this book the movie? Because that would have been great. And I, I might be forever on a cliffhanger. And I'm not sure if I can handle that. I'm really sad. But the book was so good. So good. It has a strong plot. Um, it is again about friendships forming and relationships forming and it's cute, it's wholesome. We do see the original cast, which is so much fun. We actually see how the adults, you know, now they're adults, how they're handling, you know, their old witch's trauma. <laughs> and I think that was so strong. It, this book... Made me laugh out loud so many times. It has such dry humor. My kind of humor. <laughs> like word jokes and stuff. And you know, so dry it isn't funny, but it's hilarious to me. I absolutely loved it. And for as I can remember, this is the first book that made me laugh out loud that hard. And so many times. It was... It's five stars. I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It's, I'm sad that that isn't the movie. Because that would have been on a whole other level. That would have been great. And I love this movie. Don't get me wrong. I love it. But I love it because it is another Hocus Pocus we get. And I'm really grateful they make it because... I am aware that it's just because the fans didn't shut up about it. Um, so, you know, I, I love the movie and I think it was fun. But this story is so good. And I want to continue. We ended on a cliffhanger. We need to continue. And I'm not sure if I'm going to get that. I hope so. Oh, boy, I hope so. But it was... 
so much fun doing this, watching the movies, reading the book. I'm so glad I bought the book because I heard terrible things, but it's actually really good. I'm so happy about it. So overall, I had a great, very long weekend. <laughs> it's almost a week now. Um, it's, it's day five. <laughs> But you know what? I did it. I had a blast. It was so much fun. And I think this is it. I think this is where we part of our ways again. Um, let me read the last line in this book because I think it's very appropriate to say goodbye. May your cauldron overflow with something sweet and may your broomstick never be Purloined. I'll see you in the next one, witches. <laughs> Please think about liking this video and subscribing. If you want to see more videos like this, more witchy stuff. <laughs> no, there isn't witchy stuff coming, but there is monster stuff and spooky stuff coming. So if you want that, ring the bell, get notified when I post something new, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, little monsters. <laughs>